Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I'm video documenting my first experience of doing a no buy year in 2021. I make videos about my no buy year itself but also about project panning, a cooking challenge I'm doing and some videos about recycling and upcycling. So if any of that is interesting to you then I would love for you to subscribe. For today's video, I have a project pan video. This is an introduction to a new project, but I'm joining it quite late. So it's the Throwback 30 project. And this project was started, it updates on the 28th of every month. I thought it was the 22nd, but it's actually the 28th. It was started in July of this year and it goes until July of next year. So I'm joining it five months late. So I've just got seven months to participate in the project. Um, I might keep going just out to the 12 months, but I guess I'll just be lagging behind everyone else. I haven't decided yet. Um, but basically this project is a Pantastic Ladies uh, Facebook group project. And it was created by Jessica Lee, who's one of the um, admins of the group. And she created the project based around the idea that there's so many projects are around and a lot of the time you would like to participate in something, but you're just totally maxed out on projects that you're working on. So this project is a way to kind of like dip your toe into a whole bunch of different projects, but without taking on um, such a huge commitment of actually participating in every single one of those projects. So she's taken 30 previous projects uh, from the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and then you just pick one prompt for each of those projects and I guess it's kind of really nice especially for me because I am new to project panning this year so some of the projects yeah I would have liked to have participated in them but they were ran like two or three years ago when I wasn't really part of the panning community so I really like it for that aspect but also that yeah it's a way to sort of participate in um, 30 different projects at once but without actually having the commitment of being in 30 projects at once and I am setting fairly modest uh, usage goals on most of these things just because I guess like most people in the project panning community I have way too much makeup and I have decided um, that with this project rather than really focusing in and making lots of pro progress on a few items I'd rather just have low usage goals but use a lot of different things that's what I've decided to do with this project maybe with other projects I'll decide to have fewer items and try and make more progress on them Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so I'll get into the products and I'll just say from the beginning, um, I'm not going to do swatches on camera because I just find I'm still struggling to get the colors to show up really well with um, my camera and getting things to focus and stuff. So rather than wasting time sort of doing this in front of the camera um, a lot, I'll just take photos of anything that I'm going to swatch, which would mainly be like blushes, highlighters and lip products. Um, eyeshadow palettes, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, yeah, because pages like Tim Talia can do a million times better job than I can. So yeah, that's how I'll do it. And I'll say up front as well, any eyeshadow um, palette that is in this project is just having a three use goal. That's it. Um, but for other products, I will say what my goal is. So the first project is called the 12 days of panning. And that one is you choose 12 products and each of them, I guess, represents one of the 12 days of Christmas. So the product that I've chosen to represent that project is a hand cream from the body shop and the scent is called Juicy Pear. So I chose that to represent the partridge in the pear tree. And this one, I would like to finish it. Um, the second project is called 50 shades of panning. So um, it's, any products that are based on either the movie or the book 50 shades of gray or just things that are sex themed i haven't read uh, the book or seen the movie um so i've just chosen this a new nude palette from um huda beauty and i chose it i guess based on some of the shade names so this is what the inside of the palette looks like sort of pinky neutral um palette um but yeah it's got some shade names like crave play spanked kinky uh, teas, yeah, Teddy, yeah. So I felt that one uh, met the brief for that project pretty well. So three use goal on that. Um, the second project to represent is called, uh, sorry, the third project is 50 Shades of Pink. And for that one, I guess it was hard to go past this um, Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. Uh, so this is what the inside of that palette looks like and this is also going to have a three use goal. 
Uh, the next uh, project is called Seven Deadly Pans, and this is for each of the seven deadly sins to pick a product that represents that sin, or um, it could just be that it represents the color that's associated with it. So I chose Wrath, which is associated with the color red, and for that one I've chosen this uh, setting powder from Laura Mercier. It is um, just her normal setting powder, but it's just in limited edition packaging from Lunar New Year. I did have this product in my Pan What May project, but I didn't finish it. So I'm putting it in this project with the aim to uh, finish it off. So that is for seven deadly pans. Um, then, sorry if I'm disappearing off the screen. I've got a giant box of products um, next to me and I hope they're not kind of rattling around too much on the microphone. Um, but the next product is called Around the World. And this was, there was a whole list of countries and you could pick products that represented the colors that are in the flag of that country or that were just made in that country. So I've gone with something from Nabla just because um, not only are the products made in Italy, but it's an Italian brand as well. And this is the Dreamy eyeshadow palette. Um, so that is what that one looks like there. Um, so yeah, that one will be for around the world for representing Italy and three use goal on that one. Um, the next uh, project is the A to Z um, of panning project. And this in this project originally, I think you picked something for each letter of the alphabet. But so I thought I could have randomized the letter, but what I thought I could also do is try and go for something that is one of the more tricky letters of the alphabet, things like Q, X, and Z, I think are pretty hard sometimes to get a product for. So I've gone for the letter Z. Um, and I'm going to be using this um, palette from Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, um, for a three use goal. And this is what this one looks like here. Um, so that is the A to Z of panning. Um, the next product or project, sorry, I should say, is a birthstone project. So you pick a product that represents a birthstone of each month. And I have gone for representing June. I was considering to do my own birthstone, which is Topaz, but I'm actually already doing that in the deck of panning. So I thought I'll go for something different. Um, so I'm using just a highlighter from Becca in the shade Pearl. So I guess it's a pretty uh, literal representation. And that is what that one looks like. Um, it's quite sort of an icy white highlighter. And I will um, put a, a swatch of that in a photo if I can get a good photo. Um, so the next project is called Budget Beauty, which is just picking budget-friendly items. So I picked out um, this lip balm from Natio. I think it's definitely the cheapest lip product in my collection, but it might actually just be my cheapest uh, makeup product overall. I think it is about four Australian dollars for that one, which is actually pretty cheap. A lot of makeup is really expensive in Australia. And the shade of that one is called Charm. And my goal is to finish that one up. Um, oh, and I forgot to say, sorry, my goal for the Becca highlighter is 10 uses. Um, sorry about that. So the next project is called Cupid's Bow and that is just a uh, love themed or Valentine's Day themed product. Sorry, I should say. And I've chosen this palette from Colourpop and it is the All That palette. And that is what that one looks like inside. And that one is also going to have a three use goal. Um, so the next project is called uh, Drop 10 Before Summer, which is to pan summer themed products. So I've chosen this self tanning uh, lotion from Dove. I'm really bad about remembering to use this. I have really pale legs and I mean, sometimes I don't care, but sometimes I do like to give them just a little bit of color in the summertime. Um, so I'm going to put a goal of 10 uses on that. And we are actually just coming into summer in Australia now. The weather today was really cold, but it's been like in the high um, 20s, sort of low 30s a few days um, so far this month. Celsius, not um, Fahrenheit, obviously. That would be freezing cold if it was Fahrenheit. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will have a little bit of motivation to use that one in the next couple of months. And then the next project is called Fall For You. And that is just products that you love. Um, so I have chosen a blush. So this is actually my favorite blush. It's from Hourglass. And the shade is called Mood Exposure. And I will um, yeah take a photo with a swatch of that one and that one is going to have a 10 use goal as well 
Um, the next product is a oh, project, sorry, is called Food for Thought. So that is food themed products. And I have chosen some skincare for that one actually. This is the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Um, it's a smaller size, it's not the full size, but it's not a sample. I got it as a free gift with purchase from Mecca. But they do actually sell um, this size and I have started using it um, a couple weeks ago um, but I just want to finish it um, in this project um, okay so the next product is a project is a Harry Potter project and so you could choose products that either that represented the colors of the houses or there were also prompts for each of the balls in Quidditch. Um, but I have gone, because I am a Ravenclaw, I have gone for um, the Natasha Denona uh, bronze, uh, sorry, bronze palette, uh, Metropolis palette, um, just because it does have this sort of um, fairly vibrant blue and then a lot of um, all of these sort of bronzy tones in there um, and I think also this palette just gives me quite a bit of Harry Potter vibes in general like I think you could do definitely you could do like a Gryffindor kind of inspired look I think you could get a Slytherin look out of this as well and look probably Hufflepuff as well I just get yeah, I get a lot of Harry Potter whenever I look at this I think of either Christmas or Harry Potter I don't know if um, anybody else uh, has the same thing but yeah as soon as I read Harry Potter my mind just kind of jumped to that palette and that is yeah gonna have a three use goal so the next project was called in the panning zone and I think this is a project that's based around a TV show that I haven't seen so I kind of didn't get where a lot of the prompts were coming from but I've just chosen one of them and the prompt that I chose is called where is everybody I think each of the prompts is like the name of an episode in the series or something and so this prompt corresponds to a product that you either only have one of that type or you only have one thing from that brand so I've chosen something that I only have one thing from that brand and it is is this um, eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. That's the only thing I have from Dose of Colors. And it is their Friendcation palette, which I believe is now um, discontinued. But um, I have it, so I'm going to use it. And I am aiming to use it three times. Um, so the next product that I have is to represent the project Lip Service. And this is just a lip product uh, project and so this is just a mini um, of a lipstick from Sephora and the shade is called Lucky One. It's sort of like a mauve kind of colored shade and because that is just a sample and I have used it quite a bit already I am actually aiming to finish this one up. Um, and so the next project um, to represent was called Mean Girls Quotes. And the prompt that I chose is Full Tilt Jungle Madness. So a product that shows off your wild side. Um, so I don't really have a wild side. I don't think I'm a pretty sort of shy, timid kind of person. Um, but I did pick, I thought that this palette from Makeup Revolution would represent somebody's wild side, even if it wasn't mine. So it is the Integrity Wild Animal Palette. And that is what it looks like there um to be honest i haven't used this very much because the color story kind of confuses me it was a bit of an impulse purchase i will admit so hopefully um putting this in the project will help me kind of wrap my head around um what i can you know use that palette for and what kind of looks i can get out of it um so that's also gonna have a three use goal and then the next project is called Movie Madness. And this is to pick products that represent different movies. And so the movie that I've gone for, it was actually a book first. I read the book first and then I saw the movie and I love the book and I also love the movie as well. And it is Memoirs of a Geisha. And so one of the most standout things, I guess, about the like geishas from Japan is their beautiful red lips. So I have chosen this red lipstick from MAC. It is limited edition packaging but it's just a um, one of their sort of standard shades and the shade is called Ruby Woo. So that is it there but I will put a swatch um, in a photo as well. And this one I would like to use it 10 times. I am sort of trying to train myself I guess to be a bit more comfortable wearing red lips because I think it does look nice but like you do have to wear it with a certain level of confidence I think and yeah I'm trying to sort of um sort of pet myself up to have that um, level of confidence to pull that off 
Um, so the next project that I want to uh, that well that I'm representing in the project is the Nightmare Before Christmas, which is products that are either Christmas or Halloween themed. Um, and to be honest, the only thing that's really Halloween themed about this is the orange packaging, but I thought that was okay. And so it is from NARS and it is their Afterglow um, eyeshadow palette. Again, a uh, three use goal on that one. And then the next project is called Once Upon a Pan. And the prompt that I've chosen for that is Rumpelstiltskin or Mr. Gold, which is a gold or a dark brown product. And so I've picked this um, eyeshadow palette from ColourPop called California Love. And this one has plenty of gold shades and also a couple of darker browns as well. So that is what is representing Once Upon a Pan. Um, now, the next project is called The Panning Games. And so this project was originally that people picked 24 products out of a box of 50 products. But the catch was that you only had 30 seconds to do it. So I was sort of like, oh, how am I going to represent this? But then I saw... In, I'm pretty sure it was Danny's introduction video from Danny's makeup. She just got a box of lip products and she just picked out a lip product at random. So that is what I'm going to do. I have this makeup bag here that's full of lip products and I'm just going to stick my hand in here live and just whatever I pick out um, is what I'm going to use. So, okay. Uh, so this is a lip crayon. Uh, from Natio, one of their uh, smoothie lip crayons and the shade is called Tea Rose and that is it there. Um, so it's kind of like a pinky brown shade I guess um, and that one I will use it 10 times as well. Um, okay and then the next one is the project is called Panning Solitaire. So this project you first worked on a single, then a duo, then a trio, um, etc etc so I've just chosen to um, use a single eyeshadow um, sorry I'm just leaning off camera here a little bit because I'm getting further back in my giant box of products um, so yeah I've just chosen a single um, again I'm just going to have a three use goal on this and this is a single from NARS and the shade is called Argentina um, it's sort of this black base with um, a sort of a blue um, glitter that has a little bit of a purple shift to it as well um, it's quite nice but it gets hard pan really quickly so it can be a little bit annoying to work with but so that will be um, my product for panning solitaire um, the next product um, or the project is called rocking around the Christmas tree and this Pro project was to choose products that are related to Christmas carols or songs about Christmas um, and so I've gone a bit left field of this um, the song that I have chosen is actually a song by Tim Minchin who is an Australian comedian um, but he also plays the piano and he sings and he has this song called white wine in the sun and it's basically I guess a song for um, people who are not necessarily religious so don't feel any sort of like religious connection to Christmas um, but they really enjoy it as a time um, to sort of spend with their family and friends. So I thought it's a really nice um, way to think about Christmas um, for people who have it as more of a secular holiday, which is myself. Um, so to represent uh, yeah, the song White Wine in the Sun, if I can reach for it in my box, I will be uh, using a highlighter from Becca in their uh, shade Champagne Pop. So that is that one there and I'll put a swatch of that one as well. And that one I will be using it 10 times. And yeah, if you haven't heard that song before or if you haven't heard of Tim Minchin, um, he's really Really hilarious but um, I guess proceed with caution a lot of his um, comedy and stuff like he's very very sort of vocally atheist so if that's not your thing um, maybe his comedy is not for you but if you don't mind that type of thing um, yeah I would recommend to check him out or at least that song um, I think it's a really nice song about Christmas um, so the next project, um, this one did crack me up a lot actually um, because it's called Say G'day <laughs> to Project Panning and so it was an Australian themed project pan. So I thought it was really funny um, and yeah, I really like the, the fact that people um, sort of like think about Australia um, and that we're not just kind of forgotten down at the bottom of the world. Um, 
So the prompt that I have chosen is Aussie, 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 oi, 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 which is our pathetic attempt at like a chant. You know, when you see um, like Europeans at football matches and they come up with these like really complicated chants and songs and stuff, the best that we can come up with in Australia is Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Um, so, and this prompt is for something green and gold. And so I have chosen um, this product um, from Colourpop called, um, it's their Aura and Out palette and this is it here. So I think it's got some nice green and yellow shades and I thought I would, um, yeah, choose this prompt because I guess being Australian, I really can't bring myself to wear green and yellow together because I just feel like I should be going to the Olympics or something if I'm wearing green and yellow together. So yeah, I thought that was a really funny uh, project and a really funny prompt. I wish I had been in the Fantastic Ladies group when that project was around because I would have loved to have done it. So thank you, um, Fantastic Ladies, for having that project and for representing Australia a little bit. Um, so the next product uh, project is, sorry, the Significant Other Project Pan, which is where your significant other picks products for you to use um, I don't have a significant other so I just asked my sister to pick and she picked uh, this perfume here from uh, Nest in the fragrance Black Tulip and she she picked it because she said she thought it was my witchiest perfume um, which to be honest a lot of Nest perfumes are quite witchy um, and she wanted me to use it 13 times so um, yeah I will be using that uh, perfume 13 times um, the next project to represent is called Skin is In, and this is just skincare products. So I have chosen this uh, mask. It's a pink clay mask from Sukin, and I'll just show you. Um, I don't have too much of that left, so I'm actually just going to aim to finish that one up. Um, so the next project is called uh, Four Seasons and this is to link, I think originally you had to pick four products for each of the four seasons, so 14 products in total, um, but I'm just picking one product and the season that I've chosen to represent is Winter. And so the product that I've chosen is an eyeshadow palette from Tarte. Um, this is a quarter of it here, so it's called their Gift and Glam palette and you basically get four of these um, little palettes here that are magnetic so it comes off and then you get one um, like magnetic um, compact that you can slip them into so I'm just going to use this quadrant um, here because the shade names um, are like winter kisses snow dust icy uh, present I think that's just related to Christmas Lux, I think again just maybe related to Christmas and winter and chill so I thought yeah that was pretty uh, representative of winter so that one again will just have a three use goal um, the next project is called turn and burn which is to pan gimme products which is just things that are going to be really easy to pan either because they're a really small product or you've almost used all of it up um, and so I have chosen for this a sample of the Smashbox uh, primerizer primer and obviously my goal is going to be to finish that because um, I think it will probably only have three or four uses in it um, the next product is uh, project, sorry, is the Unicorn Project Pan, and this is for items that are unique, iridescent, or magical. And for this one, I've chosen a highlighter from Fenty, and it's actually in the shade um, Unicorn. So I thought, well, you can't get closer to unicorns than unicorns. I'll put a sh um, photo up of that one as well, and it's like a lavender highlighter. Um, it's probably not super wearable on an everyday basis, but I'm sure I'll find um, many opportunities to wear it and that one is going to have a 10 use goal um, the next product or project sorry I keep saying product when I mean to say project is called Winnie the Pan and I guess this was Winnie the Pooh uh, themed products and for each character there was um, like a, a prompt and the product that I have chosen to work on is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from Colourpop I was also thinking about Putting the Naked Honey in for this as well but I worked on the Naked Honey earlier this year in a usage project so I thought um, and I think I might have only used this palette from Colourpop twice so far so I thought I'd better put that one in get some use out of that so that will have a three use goal as well 
And the last project out of 30 is called the Wizard of Panning. And the prompt that I've chosen for that is poppies. And so that was to represent something that you only use at night. So I've gone for some skincare with that again. And this is just my uh, vitamin C serum from The Ordinary um, that I just use at um, as part of my nighttime skincare routine. So those are all of my um, 30 products. And now I think because, yeah, there's so many products going in this project at once. Um, I have seen some people just work on a couple at a, at a time. I think I will work on all of them at once. But what I'm going to do for my updates is I'm only going to mention in the updates things that I'm aiming to finish. Anything that just has a usage goal in it, I will just update when I've actually hit my goal. Um, and then I might put in the description box like my progress, like I've used this four out of ten times or something. But I'm not actually going to update um the, the product in in the video until I've hit my goal otherwise these videos are just going to go uh, for forever and I think it's probably not that interesting to sit through and listen to me say ah oh, this product I haven't used it at all this month this product I used it once this one I didn't use it because realistically some of these like I'm not going to use every eyeshadow palette every month so um, yeah and because I've got quite low usage goals and I don't need to uh, so hopefully that's okay um, yeah I guess people just kind of do the project however works the best for them and whatever makes the most sense to them and I think yeah working on a few different products at a time or yeah like I said only updating when I hit my goal on something I think is probably the way to go to not get overwhelmed with this project um, but yeah that's yeah pretty much it for today's video if you wanted to follow along with any of my other project pans then please um, do consider subscribing to my channel if you did like this video feel free to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me from 1 to 10 how crazy you think I am for joining this project halfway through when there's 30 <laughs> products on the go um, hopefully I won't regret it but I, it, I do think it sounds like a lot of fun so I'm really looking forward to participating but yeah that's basically all I have for today's video thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one bye, bye.